I'm Bill Gates, co-chair of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Ask me anything. How different do you think your life would be if your name was Gil Bates? Why is this question so popular? Hello to all the Gills out there. You probably run into someone with the same name less than I do. I don't think my name has affected me much. My formal name is William. If you were born into a low-income family, do you think you would have managed to become as rich as you are now? I benefited from having a great education, public schools through sixth grade and then a great private school lakeside. So there is a good chance I would never have gotten turned on to software and math the way I did and therefore not as successful. What technology are you most looking forward to in the next 10 years and what impact do you think it could have? The most amazing thing will be when computers can read and understand the text like humans do. Today computers can do simple things like search for specific words but concepts like vacation or career or family are not understood. Microsoft and others are working on this to create a helpful assistant. It has always been kind of a holy grail of software particularly now that vision and speech are largely solved. Another frontier is robotics where the human ability to move and manipulate is amazing and experts disagree on whether it will take just a decade or a lot longer, Brooks, to achieve the equivalent. Hello Bill. When did you consider yourself a success? There are many domains to be successful in. I was a success in getting good grades and test scores in high school. I was a success at writing good code by my early 20s. The dream of the PC being an enabling tool came true by the 1990s. Now I am working on being a good father and the ambitious goals of the foundation including getting rid of polio and malaria. I think it is always good to have goals where your success is in doubt and I have that in many areas including the work I do on climate change. Tabs or spaces? When I code I use tabs because you want the columns to line up. For some Word documents I use tabs. You want things to adjust when you go back and edit them and tabs help. Hi Mr. Gates. Do you ever like, just randomly get up when you're home and make yourself a peanut butter sandwich? Or do you have people do that for you? I do make myself tomato soup sometimes. It is kind of a comforting food and reminds me of doing the same when I was growing up. I don't make sandwiches much. What are your hobbies, and how do you balance time between them and your work, family, other obligations? P.S. You're a huge inspiration in my life and a role model too. Thank you for everything you do. Allocating time is always tough. Tennis is a big hobby for me and I try and play twice a week, a bit more in the summer. I always try and read a few books every month and a bunch on vacation. Melinda and I look over our schedules a lot to make sure we are balancing things well. I travel about one third of the time for the foundation which I enjoy. What's your opinion on cryptocurrencies? The main feature of cryptocurrencies is their anonymity. I don't think this is a good thing. The government's ability to find money laundering and tax evasion and terrorist funding is a good thing. Right now cryptocurrencies are used for buying fentanyl and other drugs so it is a rare technology that has caused deaths in a fairly direct way. I think the speculative wave around ecos and cryptocurrencies is super risky for those who go long. What do you feel slash know that is one very solvable problem that society, or most likely, government, is ignoring? I think that healthcare costs, education and poverty slash mobility deserve a lot more thinking and innovation than they get today. The benefit of getting these things right would be amazing. With all the talk about inequity it is interesting that we still work on vertical areas like health, education, housing, food, etc. As separate things rather than having a full view of the challenges someone faces. Do you miss anything about your time at Microsoft? There was a certain urgency to everything we were doing to stay ahead that meant the speed of activity was very high. I miss this a bit. I had to take think weeks twice a year just to step back and see what the longer term trends were. Now I work on things like malaria where I wish there was more competition to solve the problems and things moved faster. I am not a big beer drinker. When I end up at something like a baseball game I drink light beer to get with the vibe of all the other beer drinkers. Sorry to disappoint real beer drinkers. How do you see automation affecting our economy over the next 10 to 20 years? Automation has been driving productivity ever since the industrial revolution including things like tractors and garment making. With software this will continue to accelerate so we need to think about how we educate people for the new jobs that will emerge. Overall automation is a great thing, eventually we won't have to work as much but we are still at least a generation away from a big change there. Is a cure for Alzheimer's a real possibility in the near future, and will it be accessible to people on Medicare Medicaid? There have been a lot of failed Alzheimer's drug trials. The good news is that the new tools we have are helping us understand the disease far better, for example the role of the glial cells. I am optimistic that in the next 20 years we will have drugs to help if we stay focused on it including pooling data and helping startups get funded. I am involved in a number of these areas. Hey Bill, how much do you know about quantum computing, and is Microsoft delving deep into that field? 
I spent a month learning the math behind quantum computing with help from the Microsoft team and a lot of online course material. I wanted to understand how quantum computers could factor numbers so much faster than normal computers. It is amazing how the matrix math with complex numbers works, nature is doing arbitrary computation but it is tricky to access. These are early days but yes Microsoft is making large investments in quantum, particularly in handling the error problems that most approaches have. What are your top three goals currently? For the foundation reducing childhood death and malnutrition and ending polio would be the biggest three things. For innovation it would be an energy breakthrough and improving the way we educate kids. For my family it is making sure the kids are ready to go to college and have a great experience there. That is more than three and I didn't mention my tennis goals yet. Who is your favorite celebrity? Melinda and Warren are my two favorites followed by Bono. Most celebrities I don't know very well. I do get to meet a lot of political leaders and Nelson Mandela was the most impressive ever. Jimmy Carter is also amazing. Hey Bill. What were you like in your early teens and what would you change about yourself back then? Did you know you wanted to be a software developer from an early age? What helped you in picking your career path? Were you always confident you'd be a successful software developer or did you have some self-doubt? I first saw a computer when I was 13 and it fascinated me then. I spent a lot of time figuring out what programming was, first basic and then machine language. By the time I was 16 I got a job programming at TRW which helped me learn even more, skipping part of my senior year. So I was lucky to have something I loved to do and which became more important in the years ahead. I have had self-doubts about all of my skills but programming is one I have always had a lot of confidence in. What are the most promising new ways to fight malaria? Malaria is a super important area for the foundation. The number of deaths has been cut in half using bed nets and spraying and new drugs. For the future we need new tools since resistance is developing to all the current tools. We don't have a vaccine that protects for long enough to help out yet but we are investing heavily in one. We do a lot of modeling to understand which tools would help the most. One that would be new is called Gene Drive which would reduce mosquito populations for a number of years to make it easier to clear the malaria from all of the humans, this will be ready for field testing in a few years. Do you eat non-GMO food? What does your daily food look like? GMO foods are perfectly healthy and the technique has the possibility to reduce starvation and malnutrition when it is reviewed in the right way. I don't stay away from non-GMO foods but it is disappointing that people view it as better. What is the best book you've read in 2018? There are two amazing books. One is Enlightenment Now by Pinker and another is Factfulness by Rosling. They are both very readable and explain that the world is getting better. Edit, I recently wrote about Enlightenment Now on my blog, https colon slash slash u dot new slash 32 kbq. Hi Bill. What do you think needs to be done to ensure that everyone has adequate food in the future? There is some cool work going on to make meat without using animals which will be far more efficient. The foundation is funding research on improving photosynthetic efficiency and the potential there is huge. If we can get African productivity up then we will be able to feed the world but we need to innovate to help them have much better seeds. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.